The Marinid dynasty Berber, Imranin, Arabic, Al Marinian or Banu Abd al-Haq was a Sunni Muslim dynasty of Zanata Berber descent that ruled Morocco from the 13th to the 15th century. In 1244, the Marinid rulers overthrew the Almohad Caliphate, which controlled Morocco. The Marinid dynasty briefly held sway over all the Maghreb in the mid-14th century. It supported the Kingdom of Granada in Al-Andalus in the 13th and 14th centuries, an attempt to gain a direct foothold on the European side of the Strait of Gibraltar was however defeated at the Battle of Rio Salado in 1340 and finished after the Castilian conquest of Algeciras from the Marinids in 1344. The Marinids were overthrown after the 1465 revolt. The Watasid dynasty, a related ruling house, came to power in 1472. History Origins The Marinids were a branch of the Wasan, a nomadic Zanata Berber tribe that lived in the Zebans present-day Algeria before being driven towards Tlemcen by the Arab invasion in the 11th century. The tribe had first frequented the area between Sijilmasa and Faguig, Morocco. Following the arrival of Arab tribes in the area in the 11th 12th centuries, Marinids moved to the northwest of present day Algeria, before settling into northern Morocco by the beginning of the 13th century. The Marinids took their name from their ancestor, Marin ibn Wartahan al Zanati. <laughs> Rise After arriving in Morocco, they initially submitted to the Almohad dynasty, which was at the time the ruling house. After successfully contributing to the Battle of Alarcos, in central Spain, the tribe started to assert itself as a political power. Starting in 1213, they began to tax farming communities of northeastern Morocco the area between Nader and Burkane. The relationship between them and the Almohads became strained and starting in 1215, there were regular outbreaks of fighting between the two parties. In 1217 they tried to occupy eastern Morocco, but they were expelled, pulling back and settling in the eastern Rif Mountains. Here they remained for nearly 30 years. During their stay in the Rif, the Almohad state suffered huge blows, losing large territories to the Christians in Spain, while the Hafsids of Ifriqiya broke away in 1229, followed by the Zionid dynasty of Tlemcen in 1235. Between 1244 and 1248 the Marinids were able to take Taza, Rabat, Saleh, Meknes and Fes from the weakened Almohads. The Marinid leadership installed in Fes declared war on the Almohads, fighting with the aid of Christian mercenaries. Abu Yusuf Yaqob captured Marrakesh in 1269. Height After the Nazris ceded Algeciras to the Marinids, Abu Yusuf went to Al-Andalus to support the ongoing struggle against the Kingdom of Castile. The Marinid dynasty then tried to extend its control to include the commercial traffic of the Strait of Gibraltar. It was in this period that the Spanish Christians were first able to take the fighting to Morocco. In 1260 and 1267 they attempted an invasion of Morocco, but both attempts were defeated. After gaining a foothold in Spain, the Marinids became active in the conflict between Muslims and Christians in Iberia. To gain absolute control of the trade in the Strait of Gibraltar, from their base at Algeciras they started the conquest of several Spanish towns. By the year 1294 they had occupied Rota, Tarifa and Gibraltar. In 1276 they founded Fes Jdid, which they made their administrative and military center. While Fes had been a prosperous city throughout the Almohad period, even becoming the largest city in the world during that time, it was in the Marinid period that Fes reached its golden age, a period which marked the beginning of an official, historical narrative for the city. It is from the Marinid period that Fes' reputation as an important intellectual center largely dates. They established the first madrasas in the city and country. The principal monuments in the Medina, the residences and public buildings, date from the Marinid period. Despite internal infighting, Abu Sa'id Uthman II initiated huge construction projects across the land. Several madrasas were built, the Al Adarin Madrasa being the most famous. The building of these madrasas were necessary to create a dependent bureaucratic class, in order to undermine the marabouts and Sharifian elements. The Marinids also strongly influenced the policy of the Emirate of Granada, from which they enlarged their army in 1275. 
In the 13th century, the Kingdom of Castile made several incursions into their territory. In 1260, Castilian forces raided Salé and, in 1267, initiated a full-scale invasion, but the Marinids repelled them. At the height of their power, during the rule of Abu al-Hasan Ali 1331-1348, the Marinid army was large and disciplined. It consisted of 40,000 Zanata cavalry, while Arab nomads contributed to the cavalry and Andalusians were included as archers. The personal bodyguard of the Sultan consisted of 7,000 men, and included Christian, Kurdish and black African elements. Under Abu al-Hasan another attempt was made to reunite the Maghreb. In 1337 the Abdalwadid kingdom of Tlemcen was conquered, followed in 1347 by the defeat of the Hafsid Empire in Ifriqiya, which made him master of a huge territory, which spanned from southern Morocco to Tripoli. However, within the next year, a revolt of Arab tribes in southern Tunisia made them lose their eastern territories. The Marinids had already suffered a crushing defeat at the hands of a Portuguese Castilian coalition in the Battle of Rio Salado in 1340, and finally had to withdraw from Andalusia, only holding on to Algeciras until 1344. In 1348, Abu al Hasan was deposed by his son Abu Inan Faris, who tried to reconquer Algeria and Tunisia. Despite several successes, he was strangled by his own vizier in 1358, after which the dynasty began to decline. Topic. Decline After the death of Abu Inan Faris in 1358, the real power lay with the viziers, while the Marinid sultans were paraded and forced to succeed each other in quick succession. The county was divided and political anarchy set in, with different viziers and foreign powers supporting different factions. In 1359 Hintada tribesmen from the High Atlas came down and occupied Marrakesh, capital of their Almohad ancestors, which they would govern independently until 1526. To the south of Marrakesh, Sufi mystics claimed autonomy, and in the 1370s Azamor broke off under a coalition of merchants and Arab clan leaders of the Banu Sabi. To the east, the Ziyanid and Hafsid families re-emerged and to the north, the Europeans were taking advantage of the Moroccan instability by attacking the Moroccan coast. Meanwhile, unruly wandering Arab Bedouin tribes increasingly spread anarchy in Morocco, which accelerated the decline of the empire. In the 15th century Morocco was hit by a financial crisis, after which the state had to stop financing the different marabouts and Sharifian families, which had previously been useful instruments in controlling the country. The political support of these marabouts and Sharifians halted, and Morocco splintered into different entities. In 1399 Titouan was taken and its population was massacred and in 1415 the Portuguese captured Ceuta. After the Sultan Abdalhak II tried to break the power of the Wattasids, he was executed. Marinid rulers after 1420 came under the control of the Wattasids, who exercised a regency as Abd al-Haq II became Sultan one year after his birth. The Wattasids, however, refused to give up the regency after Abd al Haq came to age. In 1459, Abd al Haq II managed a massacre of the Wattasid family, breaking their power. His reign, however, brutally ended as he was murdered during the 1465 revolt. This event saw the end of the Marinid dynasty as Muhammad ibn Ali Amrani Juti, leader of the Sharifs, was proclaimed Sultan in Fes. He was in turn overthrown in 1471 by Abu Abd Allah al Sheikh Muhammad ibn Yahya, one of the two the surviving Wattasids from the 1459 massacre, who instigated the Wattasid dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> Chronology of events 1215, the Banu Marin attacks the Almohads when the 16 year old Almohad Caliph Yusuf II al Mustansir comes to power in 1213. The battle takes place on the coast of the Rif. In the reign of Yusuf II al-Mustansir a great tower is erected to protect the royal palace in Seville. 1217, Abd al-Haq I dies during victorious combat against the Almohads. His son Uthman ibn Abd al-Haq succeeds to the throne. Marinids take possession of the Rif and seem to want to remain there. The Almohades counterattack in vain. 1240, Uthman I is assassinated by one of his Christian slaves. His brother Muhammad ibn Abd al-Haq succeeds him. 1244, Muhammad I is killed by an officer of his own Christian mercenary militia. 
Abu Yahya ibn Abd al-Haq, the third son of Abd al-Haq, succeeds him. 1249, severe repression of anti-Marinid forces in Fez. 1258, Abu Yahya ibn Abd al-Haq dies of disease. His uncle, Abu Yusuf Yaqub ibn Abd al-Haq, fourth son of Abd al-Haq, succeeds to the throne. 1260, the Castilians raid Saleh. 1269, seizure of Marrakesh and the end of Almohad domination of the Western Maghreb. 1274, the Marinids seize Sijilmasa. 1276, founding of Fez Jdid, new Fez, a new city near Fez, which comes to be considered a new district of Fez, in contrast to Fez El Bali, old Fez. 1286, Abu Yusuf Yaqub ibn Abd al haq dies of disease in Algeciras after a fourth expedition to the Iberian Peninsula. His son Abu Yaqub Yusuf and Nasser replaces him. 1286, Abu Yaqub Yusuf and Nasser combats revolts in and around the Draa River and the province of Marrakesh. 1288, Abu Yaqub Yusuf and Nasser receives in Fez the envoys of the King of Granada, to whom the town of Cadiz is returned. 1291, construction of the Mosque of Taza, the earliest preserved Marinid building. 1296, construction of Sidi Boumedine Mosque, or Sidi Belasan, in Tlemcen. 1299, beginning of Tulmsen's siege by the Marinids, which will last nine years 1306, conquest and destruction of Tarudan 1307, Abu Yaqub Yusuf and Nasser is assassinated by a eunuch in connection with some obscure matter related to the harem. His son Abu Thabit Amir succeeds to the throne. 1308, Abu Thabit dies of disease after only one year in power in Titawan, a city which he has just founded. His brother, Abu al-Rabi Sulayman succeeds him. 1309, Abu al-Rabi Sulayman enters Suda. 1310, Abu al-Rabi dies of disease after having repressed a revolt of army officials in Taza. Among them is Gonzalve, chief of the Christian militia. His brother Abu Sa'id Uthman succeeds him to the throne. 1323, construction of the Atarans Madrasa in Fez. 1325, Ibn Battuta begins his 29-year journey across Africa and Eurasia. 1329, the Marinids defeat the Castilians in Algeciras, establishing a foothold in the south of the Iberian Peninsula with the hope of reversing the Reconquista. 1331, Abu Sa'id Uthman dies. His son Abu al-Hasan ibn Uthman succeeds him. 1337, first occupation of Tlemcen. 1340, a combined Portuguese-Castilian army defeats the Marinids in the Battle of Rio Salado, close to Tarifa, the southernmost town of the Iberian Peninsula. The Marinids return to Africa. 1344, the Castilians take over Algeciras. The Marinids are ejected from Iberia. 1347, Abu al-Hasan ibn Uthman destroys the Hafsid dynasty of Tunis and restores his authority over all the Maghreb. 1348, Abu al-Hasan dies, his son Abu Inan Faris succeeds him as Marinid ruler. 1348, the Black Death and the rebellions of Tlemcen and Tunis mark the beginning of the decline of the Marinids, who are unable to drive back the Portuguese and the Castilians. 1350, construction of Boanania's Madrasa in Meknes. 1351, second seizure of Tlemcen. 1357, defeat of Abu Inan Faris in front of Tlemcen. Construction of another of Boanania's madrasas in Fez. 1358 Abu Inan is assassinated by his vizier. A time of confusion starts. Each vizier tries to install weak candidates on the throne. 1358 Abu Ziyan as said Muhammad ibn Faris is named Sultan by the vizirs, just after the assassination of Abu Inan. His reign lasts only a few months. Abu Yahya Abu Bakr ibn Faris comes to power, but also reigns only a few months. 1359, Abu Salim Ibrahim is nominated sultan by the vizirs. He is one of the sons of Abu al-Hasan ibn Uthman and is supported by the king of Castile, Pedro. 1359, resurgence of the Ziyanids of Tlemcen. 1361, Abu Umar Takfan is named the successor to Abu Salim Ibrahim by the vizirs, with the support of the Christian militia. He reigns only a few months. 1361, the period called the Reign of the Vizirs. Ends. 1362, Muhammad ibn Yaqub assumes power. 
He is a young son of Abu al Hasan ibn Uthman, who had taken refuge in Castile. 1366 Muhammad ibn Yaqub is assassinated by his vizier. He is replaced by Abu Faris Abd al-Aziz ibn Ali, one of the sons of Abu al-Hasan ibn Uthman who until this time had been held locked up in the palace of Fes. 1370 – Third seizure of Tlemcen 1372 – Abu Faris Abd al-Aziz ibn Ali dies of disease leaving the throne to his very young son Muhammad as said, beginning a new period of instability. The vizirs try on several occasions to install a puppet sovereign. 1373, Muhammad as said is presented as the heir to his father, Abu Faris Abd al-Aziz ibn Ali, but being only five years old cannot reign, and dies in the same year. 1374, Abu al-Abbas Ahmad, supported by the Nasra princes of Granada, takes power. 1374, partition of the empire into two kingdoms, the kingdom of Fes and the kingdom of Marrakesh. 1384, Abu al-Abbas is temporarily removed by the Nasras. The Nasras replace him with Abu Faris Musa ibn Faris, a disabled son of Abu Inan Faris. This ensures a kind of interim during the reign of Abu al-Abbas Ahmad from 1384 to 1386. 1384, Abu Zayd Abd ar-Rahman reigns over the kingdom of Marrakesh from 1384 to 1387 while the Marinid throne is still based in Fes. 1386, Al-Waythik ensures the second part of the interim in the reign of Abu al-Abbas from 1386 to 1387. 1387, Abu al-Abbas begins to give vizirs more power. Morocco knows six years of peace again, although Abu al-Abbas benefits from this period to reconquer Tlemcen and Algiers. 1393, Abu al-Abbas dies. Abu Faris Abd al-Aziz ibn Ahmad is designated as the new sultan. The troubles which follow the sudden death of Abu al-Abbas in Taza make it possible for the Christian sovereigns to carry the war into Morocco. 1396, Abu Amir Abdallah succeeds to the throne. 1398, Abu Amir dies. His brother, Abu Sa'id Uthman ibn Ahmad, takes power. 1399, benefiting from the anarchy within the Marinid Kingdom, King Henry III of Castile arrives in Morocco, seizes Titouan, massacres half of the population and reduces the rest to slavery. 1415, King John I of Portugal seizes Ceuta. This conquest marks the beginning of overseas European expansion. 1418, Abu Said Uthman besieges Ceuta but is defeated. 1420, Abu Said Uthman dies. He is replaced by his son, Abu Muhammad Abd al-Haq, who is only one year old. 1437, failure of a Portuguese expedition to Tangier. Many prisoners are taken and the infant Fernando, the Saint Prince is kept as a hostage. A treaty is made with the Portuguese enabling them to embark if they return Ceuta. Fernando is kept as a hostage to guarantee the execution of this pact. Influenced by Pope Eugene IV, Edward of Portugal sacrifices his brother for national trade interests. 1458, King Afonso V of Portugal prepares an army for a crusade against the Ottomans in response to the call of Pope Pius II, but he instead uses the army to attack a small port located between Tangier and Ceuta. 1459, Abu Muhammad Abd al-Haq revolts against his own Watasid vizirs. Only two brothers survive, who will become the first Watasid sultans in 1472. 1462, Ferdinand IV of Castile takes over Gibraltar. 1465, Abu Muhammad Abd al-Haq appoints a Jewish vizier, Aaron ben Batash, provoking a popular revolt. The sultan dies in the revolt when his throat is cut. The Portuguese king Afonso V finally manages to take Tangier, benefiting from the troubles in Fes. 1472, Abu Abd Allah al Sheikh Muhammad ibn Yahya, one of the two Watasid vizirs surviving the 1459 massacre, installs himself in Fes, where he founds the Watasid dynasty. <laughs> Marinid rulers 1215 1269, leaders of the Marinids, engaged in a struggle against the Almohads, based in Taza from 1216 1244, Abd al Haqqai, Uthman I, Muhammad I, 
Since 1244, Marinid emirs based in Fez. Abu Yahya ibn Abd al Haq (1244–1258), Umar (1258–1259), Abu Yusuf Yaqub (1259–1269). 1269 to 1465 Marinid Sultans of Fez and Morocco Abu Yusuf Yaqub 1269 to 1286 Abu Yaqub Yusuf 1286 to 1306 Abu Thabit Amir 1307 to 1308 Abu al-Rabi Sulayman 1308 to 1310 Abu Said Uthman II 1310 to 1331 Abu al Hasan Ali, thirteen thirty one to thirteen forty eight Abu Inan Faris, thirteen forty eight to thirteen fifty eight Muhammad the Second is said, thirteen fifty nine Abu Salim Ali, II thirteen fifty nine to thirteen sixty one Abu Umar Tashfin, thirteen sixty one Abu Zayn Muhammad the Third, thirteen sixty two to thirteen sixty six Abu El Fariz Abdul Aziz I, 1366 to 1372. Muhammad is said, 1372 to 1374. Abu El Abbas Ahmad, 1374 to 1384. Abu Zayn Muhammad IV, 1384 to 1386. Muhammad V, 1386 to 1387. Abu El Abbas Ahmad, 1387 to 1393. Abdul Aziz II, 1393 to 1398. Abdullah, 1398 to 1399. Abu Said Uthman III, 1399 to 1420. Abd al-Haq II, 1420 to 1465. Topic. See also. Marinid tombs in Fez. List of Sunni Muslim dynasties. Topic. References Topic. Bibliography Julian, Charles André, Histoire de l'Afrique du Nord, des origines à 1830, Edition Original 1931, Re-edition Paris, 1994 in French Marinid dynasty at Britannica <laughs>